We want to make sure that we do not read the Bible or interpret the Bible uh, in a uh, Platonic or uh, Albigensian, I'm trying to think what they were named at the time of uh, a Gnostic interpretation. The Gnostics and the Albigensians, they believed that the spirit was good and the body was bad. They might read this reading here and say, ah, <clears throat> do not love the world or the things of the world. Uh, we want to make sure that we understand that Jesus came in the flesh. Jesus came into the world in bodily form. He actually took our very nature. And so it is not flesh that is bad. It is not material that is bad. Rather, as St. John clarifies, for all that is in the world, sensual lust, enticements of the eyes, and pretentious life is not from the Father, but is from the world. Really what he's saying here is that it's from the devil. These are not things that lead us to God. These are things that lead us away from God. So how should we be acting? One, we need to avoid sensual lust. Does not mean that sex is bad. Sensual lust is when we take a person and we make them an object. Enticement of the eyes, when we get distracted by stuff, not, not in, a, in an immediate sense, but when we choose to follow something that's going to lead us astray. And a pretentious life. I don't know if we can do that during the coronavirus or not, but if we think that we do not need God, if we are puffed up, if we think that we're better than other people, we are leading a pretentious life. And this is not from the Father, but it is from the world. So now we can go back to the beginning of our reading, and it may make more sense. I am writing to you, children, because your sins have been forgiven for his name's sake. So our sins have been forgiven. We don't want to get thrown off the course because you know him who is from the beginning. I believe that's a reference to Jesus. In the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God because you have conquered the evil one. This does not mean we can say, oh, we've conquered the evil one. Now we can take a vacation. It's a reminder to us that the battle has already been won. We don't want to go and lose what was won. Because you know the Father. God has revealed himself in the Son. So we know the Father. Because you know him who is from the beginning. Again, we know the Father. We know the Son who was with him from the beginning. Because you are strong. And the word of God remains in you. And you have conquered the evil one. Look at all of these things that God has done for us, that God has done through us. We want to remain with God because God is eternal. The world is passing away. And again, how do we interpret this? In heaven, there is a new heavens and a new earth. So it's not the earth that's bad. It is this temporal, worldly, other than God, uh, things that are not as important. So St. John tells us, God has already done so much for you. 
remain with him, he will remain with you.